What's going on? How is it going, YouTube? How's it going, Rexies? I gotta, I gotta come up with a with a name for you guys, because uh, you guys have been commenting that I need to get like a, I guess like a way of calling you all, you know, like, like how people have like nicknames for, for the the, the you guyses. So I don't know. If you guys have any uh, any suggestions, then uh, go ahead and uh, leave them so in the comment. I would love to hear that. <laughs> I think it's funny, but um, so um, sources tell me that Naughty is actually a an attack increasing um, nature. That it's not actually a special attacking increase. It's not. A, it's not a special attack increase. Um, like I said before, I don't know. I don't. I don't really have internet right now, so I can't really check. But um, if so, then that would be pretty disappointing. It, it, it's also supposed to like. Again, the sources tell me that it decreases special defense, and that's, uh, well, that doesn't really matter that much. I figure you had to lower something. Um, but uh, if it is actually an attack increase, then that's, that would suck. But no matter. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and uh, enter the gym, our first gym here. Uh, Violet City Pokemon Gym. Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give some advice. But you are no trainer, what advice could you ever give me? Believe me, if you believe me, a championship dream can come true. Do you believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this, that's all you're gonna tell me? It's like I'm listening to this guy who's not a trainer, and he tells me in the beginning, I am not a trainer, but you got, you gotta trust me, man. <laughs> I know things. <laughs> all right, let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. Man, I'm gonna kick your ass, motherfucker. All right, he's gonna have a spear. Now, Alexandria should be fairly defensive and should be able to take care of business of the best here. And uh, yeah, it seems like uh, Tackle deals uh, relatively good damage here. Um, you know what I should do? I should give the silk, the silk scarf to Alexandria so that uh, she um, deals a little bit more damage with her Tackle. Let's go ahead and uh, take that away from Awesome because let's face it, he's already awesome enough. And uh, Silk Scarf to Alexandria, let's take care of that Pesha Berry that he just grabbed from the floor with his ability. Uh, his pickup ability. And uh, let's go nuts. Before we go nuts, let me go ahead and uh, give him one berry there to eat 10 points. Just that, uh, you know, the every point counts, right? Um, those here are training night and day to become bear, uh, bird Pokemon masters. Who would like to be a bird Pokemon master? Like the, like the worst type. Like, I would rather even be bug, man. Than bird, bird's like so lame. <laughs> All right, um, Growl is gonna be a little pain in the ass, but as long as she doesn't continue doing it, then we should be. Damn it! Come on! Oh gosh, it's gonna be a little annoying. Let's go ahead and change to uh, EG here, so that those stats can uh, get a reason. Oh, Spear is part. Oh, he's part normal, right? Oh, damn it! Yes, he is. All right, no matter, no matter. Like uh, that's just a slight. Slight problem there, but uh, we resolved that it's gonna grow again because that's what douchebags do. They they pay attention to what you're saying and then they do the opposite. And uh, tackle one more should be able to take good care of him. And uh, man, I hope Falconer's not that hard. I don't know what level this Pokemon are gonna be, but uh, yeah, before I fight him, though, I do wanna heal up my my Alexandria because I think he's gonna be the the MVP here. Um, hopefully, I don't know. Mod slap that probably both of his Pokemon carry. Uh, it's gonna be strong against Ghastly, so that's not gonna be good. But uh, I still have Awesome there in the background. Just uh, should be should be good enough to handle that. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon GM leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electric. Man, that sounds painful. My God, what's what's this game all about? I won't allow such insults to me. It's like. <laughs> He won't allow like electric Pokemon to the gym. Like, is that is that what it means? I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. All right, he and wow, he looks really gay. <laughs> okay, since a Pidgey, how many Pokemon did he have? I didn't really see. Um, do you know what I should do? Oh, I should defense curl. No, but he's gonna. If he starts mud slapping, then it's gonna be a little, a little pain in the ass, and. uh then I would have to switch anyways, and all my defense curls would, uh, would go to waste. He doesn't seem to be... There you go. Ow, he's getting so much critical 
board. Damn, it's gonna be okay. This is gonna be a little, a little tougher than I thought. Um, oh, I have lev. Oh, GG. You can't touch me. Can't touch this. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> he can't touch me, man. This is awesome. I could. I think I can just solo this guy with Pidgey. Then I'm just gonna curse on all of his Pokemon because, well, I can't hurt him with my lick. So. That sounds nasty and kinky. Anyways, uh, I do have a pod. Let me just go ahead and heal him so I can continue cursing. And uh, I think this is GG. I don't think there's really anything he can do to me. Um, no, he can't. <laughs> well, this is gonna be the easiest gym leader ever. Yeah, he only has two. Pichotto! Oh, ghost! This one carry ghost. Well, that's unfortunate. I just killed myself. Oh well. At least it's cursed, so that's uh, that's nice. Um, I flicked it with the curse. I should be able to kill him straight up. Um, hmm. Water gun. Let's shoot. Yeah. The curse is gonna help me out and uh, kill this motherfucker. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. That's a lot of experience. I should be evolving now into uh, what's his face? Darn my dad's cherished bird. I just like I just killed his dad's Pokemon. Like, he's not even. He's a gym leader. He's not good enough to have his own Pokemon. Like seriously. Like sometimes I swear. Like. The, the, the bar for becoming a gym leader is so low this times, man. It's the official Pokemon League Sephir badge. And I get some cash. And, uh, yeah. Good riddance. Ra the badge raises the attack power of Pokemon. Also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it any time. Here, take this too. And I get Mudslab, right? Um, by using ATM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. ATM can use can be used only once. They actually changed that on the fifth gen. They made it so that the TMs are like HMs, where you can use it like as much as you like. And I really enjoy that because it's sort of silly, you know, that that is just wasted. Um, it, oh, I didn't even read it, but I guess it's much slap. It reduces the enemy's accuracy. Yeah, it is. Well, it causes damage. In other words, it is both defensive and offensive. That's my favorite type of style. And uh, we are gonna go ahead and teach that to Alexandria because she is ground type and she should be getting a, a lot of use for that. Um, and you know what, I just realized that I actually have other other sloth, so I could have like, I could have defense curled and if he mud slapped me, I could have used the sloth so that I wouldn't miss my attacks. Oh well, when I'm, when I'm commentating, it's really hard to like pay attention to small details like that and make those those type of decisions, which is a shame. And I get a call from Elm. Hello, Rex. We discovered something about the egg that is round. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? It's the same bullshit as before. It doesn't tell me like what, you know? It's like, oh my God, there's something amazing that happens. You have to come and check it out because I won't tell you what it is over the phone. And uh, <laughs> um, all right, so this is the guy we have to talk to, um, Rex. Long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? No! B -b 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 what? This was not supposed to happen. You were supposed to take it from it. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Fine, I'll take the egg. Rex received an egg. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. Derp. <laughs> it also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. So if a book, if an egg is like left, <laughs> how does that philosophical um, term goes? If 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 a, if a tree falls in the middle of a forest where no one is around to hear it, like if an egg is found in the middle of the forest where no other poke uh, no other Pokemon is around to see it, it will never hatch. <laughs> that's how. <laughs> that's what happens in the po in the in the Pokemon professors' meetings. It's just just like Pokemon philosophy. <laughs> Rex, you're the only person we can rely on. Please, return to the lab when that egg hatches. Okay, um, honestly, I don't remember what, uh, I think it's Togepi though. Probably, unless they changed it to, for it to be another Pokemon. I don't know. I think I get different eggs throughout the game. I'm not sure, like in, like in the fourth gen, like in, uh, what were those called? Diamond and Pearl? Uh, they give you like different eggs, I think. But uh, enough of that. We we have to continue our journey, our journey to the far to the far ends of the world. Uh, there's a nut tree blocking the way to Goldenrod City. I think that something should be done about it. 
You know what? I think so too. Hey, hey, I was going to snap that three with my straight arm punch. But I couldn't. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like acting so tough. Yeah, I could, I could uh, punch that tree down. I, I, I guess I couldn't. And then he just cries and, and kills himself. <laughs> I'm a failure. <laughs> um, didn't. I think he used to give me um, rock smash right in the in the original version, but I guess he doesn't anymore. And uh, it's a weekly tree. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, I don't know what type of Pokemon appears in this grass. I guess the same one as the. Um, that's the the ones on the grass before entering this city. It doesn't matter. It's uh, it's all good. What is this? A route? Uh, route 36. Um, let me go ahead and save this, just uh, so I can have that safe. By the way, I I, I saved uh, states, just you know, just in case. But I, I don't really use it. I use the the normal game in-game save. But you know, just uh, just to have that there. She uses. I'm I'm used to it. By from just playing. On my own, uh, she uses the names of her favorite things to eat for the nicknames she gives to her Pokemon. I mean, that's a nice sentence. I call my Pidgey Strawberry. That's 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 obviously a Pidgeot. Look from the the yellow hair on the metal. That's that that's only there from for Pidgeots. Oh, I'm such a nerd. I'm such a Pokemon nerd. But what can I do? What can I do? Uh, I can only cry about it. So I'm gonna cry about it. <laughs> Uh, so I guess here I never usually go here for when I when I'm u doing my normal playthroughs of Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I usually just go straight, but I guess I can find the announce here. The authority on the ruins of Alf. He's the authority. It's like nobody cares. He's like self-appointed authority. It's like I'm gonna be the boss here. The ruins are about a, a 1,500 years old, but it's not known why they were built or by who. <laughs> oh my God. There are odd. Odd part, uh, pattern. Blah, there are odd patterns drawn on the walls of the ruins. Patterns, patterns. Was that with double T? No, I guess it's just one T. I don't know. They must be the keys for unraveling the mystery of the ruins. Wait, what? The patterns. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and check out those ruins and see what we can find. Ruins of all. Bitters are welcome. Okay. Whoa, this is awkward. This place has a mystical quality to it. It feels sort of ethereal, even. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, if we walk here, this is a big room, but there's nothing here. I guess we find a noun here if we just walk around. Or... Wasn't it? I thought you just fight on nouns here. Ancient buildings are often tombs of kings, like the, py the pyramids, for instance. So there are pyramids here as well? It's weird. I thought you would get uh, on nouns here. But I guess we have to trigger them. I don't remember. Let's see, if we go to the other... Oh, the other entrance I have to serve? I guess so. Um, oh, there's another one here. Welcome to this chamber. There are sliding panels that depict the Pokemon drawn by the ancients. Slide the panels around the form to form the picture. To the right is a description of the Pokemon. Scientists in the back are examining some newly found patterns. And uh, what's up, bro? Recently, strange cryptic patterns have appeared. It's odd. They weren't here a little while ago. <laughs> they just happened to appear when I'm passing through, right? What, what coincidence is that? <laughs> So if I go here and I talk to this uh, thing here, uh, to this panel, I put the hit on the sea floor. Eyes on the back scan the area. Um, I need, if I make this puzzle, then uh, something interesting could happen. Uh, let's uh, let's do this now. This is a Kabuto. I I can see her. It, it sort of looks like it. Uh, I haven't done this in a in a while. So and because I have the game sped up, it's a little hard to manipulate it. So I'm like skipping skipping tiles every time I move something. Uh, okay. Well, these are the obvious corners, so let's make the corners first. Let's put this uh, there. Uh, the other corner. Shoot, okay, here it is. Bow, okay, that's uh, that's great. Wait, yeah. Yeah, this should be there. I, no, 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 that's actually... Looks a little weird. I don't think that's... That's supposed to be here. Maybe this one. And then this one here. Uh huh. It is definitely a Kabuto. This should be here. Yep, yeah, perfect. Um, uh huh. Everything, everything is making sense now, guys. I can see. It's all clear to me. Yes. Yes. One, two, see here makes. Which one makes more sense? Here or here? Yeah, I think here makes more sense, right? And uh, should be an eye. No, I think. Oh gosh, it's so weird. Okay, perfect. The other one. 
Okay, this is really weird. Okay, okay, yeah, this should be here. And that's why it didn't make any sense. I was supposed to go down there. And oh, the last one, you can do it. Okay, there you go. And uh, now I leave here. Nothing. What? All right. Um. So I uh, took my time here to uh, to finish this. Now, hmm. I'm not really sure how to trigger this. Maybe this goes here and this goes here. Okay, there you go. Because now I can't really do anything. Um, all right. Let me save it just in case. Okay. Whoa, everything just shook there. All right, so now the nouns will appear. So, um, there, I don't think there's really anything, uh, anything too important about this, guys. They, uh, the only move that they can learn is called Hidden Power. And uh, let's just go ahead and catch one. But, um, so Hidden Power, um, Hidden Power changes depending on, uh, what are your stats. Um, it's a flat, it's flat, thin body's always stuck on walls. Its shape appears to have some meaning. Um, so, they only, they can only carry Hidden Power and hit the Hidden Power changes its type depending on your stats, so it could be like Hidden Power Rock, or Hidden Power Fire, Hidden Power Dark, it could be anything. But it, it does depend, I think it's on your... Uh, on the way that your stats are uh, organized. This is a weird mechanic thing that they added that honestly, like, I'm not very adept into and I don't really care that much. <laughs> but, um, if you pay attention to them, you'll see that they are actually the shape of them. Uh, they reflect the, uh... The, uh, the, the alphabet, the ABC, so they have, like, the f shape of, of letters and stuff, I, I don't really, or I supposed to be, I guess that one was a little weird, but, um, that's a nan, I guess, but, uh, let's, I don't know if there's something to do here, honestly, like, I never really knew what to do here, but, um, let's go ahead and leave, because, uh, we're running out of time, man, running out of time, and I think I have to talk to the, to the, to the guy here again, let's see. Pokemon appear in the ruins? That's news! We'll need to investigate in this. Yay! We're a strange Pokemon design in the ruins. They appear to be very much like the drawings on the wall, huh? I must mean there are many kinds of them. Yeah, there are. There are like... I don't know how many t how many kinds of unknown there are. Probably like 20 or something. Uh, yo, that tremor was pretty scary, but I'm more concerned about this wall here. Recently, strange cryptic patterns have appeared. It's odd. They weren't here a lot while ago. You should take a look at the walls, man. Take a look at the walls, man. Um, yeah, nothing's happening when I look at the walls, man. I don't know, man. I, I've never, I never really like. I've played this game a lot, but I never really, uh, I never really went like very in depth into this whole unknown thing. So if you guys have uh, any idea, like if there's anything to do here uh, for now, like I know that if I get surfed, then I can get there, or maybe somewhere else or down here. I don't even know. But uh, if there's anything that I can do at this moment without surf, then let me know, and I'll as sure uh, give that a look. But um. Yeah, I mean, I guess the episode is running a little bit, a uh, little bit long, so it's gonna be it, guys. We took care of the gym, we took care of the unknown, and I'll see you guys next time.